Kuma refugee camp, a melting pot of nationalities and cultures from different parts of the world. Nilikuja huku mwaka wa 2015 kilichosababisha nikakimbia kulikuwa na vita Burundi. I come from China and uh, I have come here uh, for you know that totally about six months and uh, when I come to the community it's about uh, three months. Relations between the refugees and the local community are not always rosy and occasionally conflict has resulted in violence. Children are usually at the center of these disagreements, either as victims or warriors. In Kakuma, they have taken a more proactive role in conflict resolution. Among them is Lotomo Ahmed, a 17-year-old South Sudanese national. I come to make a conflict. Yeah. An example in last year, where my tribe was pigana na the Nuer, the Nubians fought to the Nuer due to a football match, but we investigate you wali pata nikitu political, nikitu natoka from our homelands there, alafu kakuja kamusha na boli. In most cases, fights break out at the food or firewood distribution centers. Conflict ko kila paali. Like say hapo hivi ukichunguza watatu wa wili utapata meibiwa kuni. Na vitu kama hizo, that's why wana encourage, like the, there's a time in Kambu walikuwa unapata tribes na kaa kila tribe kona laini yake. Kef kum. Yes. 16-year-old Nyabang Wech hails from South Sudan and is also a peace ambassador. We couldn't interact. We use different languages. And at the times if we have difficulties at home, it was hard for us to ask for help. Because at the time that we came, maybe because we were put in a house, it was covered with tent. Sometimes thieves would come and there's no way that we could ask for help because we only knew our language. Peacekeeping campaigns, she says, not only encourage harmonious living but help expose retrogressive practices such as child marriage, which is rampant among the refugees. Sometimes you might be forced by your parents to get to drop out of school so that you might get married. Later on, when you get married, so that you might come and help them. Because it's due to poverty. If you are poor, that means you don't have anything that you can do. But at times, because of early pregnancy, due to early pregnancy, a girl might go to a boy because she, she wants something. She wants to be given something like maybe she doesn't have shoes or clothes. That means she will go to a boy and then request money. Then later on, she might end up cutting early pregnancy. Our interview is interrupted by a confrontation between two young ones. It looks serious. So we end up our meeting prematurely and allow Nyabang to do her job. Kef kum. Yes. Okay. Stop fighting. You might end up hurting your brother mistakenly. Just apologize, even if you're not wrong. It will not cost you. Everybody in the peace club knows their role. Kwa ni mianza kujunga na makunda mba huwa ya nafutabangi na wanaenda kufanyo wa rifu wa wizi. Kutoka wakati huo ni kaanza kuingia au mambo na magroup. Mala ni kaanza kuwa dansa. Ni katamani pia niende kujua mambo na kungfu. Kwa sani kwa nasema saa hini kijua kungfu. Mtu mwenye takuja kuntania. Takuwa na niona. Takuwa na ruka juu kama jetili sasa. Wakati huo ndo. Wakati ni linga peace club ni kawana kumbe kujichocha si vizuri. Uwa tuna visit like the sick people. Yeah, although sometimes uh, most of us tunakuaga like we are organized, tunakuwa na treasurer na tunakuwa na bank account. So sometimes tuna make plans, wacha tubaye maziwa wagonjwa, tukiweza. Kama hakuna pia tunawapitia tu salamu, pia we visit the sports, like tuna advise watu, okay, on the finals, kukiwa na magames like football, finals, hapo ndo kuna otokea vita kuna kwa like many cases za war so before the game ianze so unapata representative anapewa anapatua chance una advice 1 2 3 unaambia watu msipigane we are brothers kitu kama hiyo 
According to World Vision Kenya, the conflict resolution program promotes peace amongst the refugees as well as between them and the host community. We took children and put them at the center of conflict resolution. Let us bring up these children and only start identifying themselves with the tribe they come from because they have learned it from adults. So they, have, they are taken through a life skills development program so that they can become peace ambassadors within the schools that they go to because they go to school and within the communities that they also go to. It's not easy. Uh, but I want to commend the host community and also refugees for embracing peaceful coexistence. What we have in the camp under me is safety and security. And then we also have elected democratically leadership. We also have clerics. So whenever a conflict will arise, we'll get early warning signals from either clerics, elected leaders, or peace and safety teams. The peace ambassadors are a bridge to members divided by their different cultures, but became a family by the virtue of being refugees. Kyurita Museo, Channel 1 News, in Trukana County.